time for call for duty have come. Biafra time to call for duty have come. The Biafra is calling for duty. It is time for every one of us to take our responsibility up. This time, not tomorrow. Every single person. Remember what I come here to do. I don't come here to blackmail anybody. I don't come here to talk about any individual. I don't come here to peddle lies or push up blackmail. I don't come here to preach hate speech. I don't come here to plead against any religion or any tribe. I come here to encourage my fellow Biafrans and those who are asking for freedom. I come here to speak up for Biafran people and speak on behalf of the Biafran because I am an Igbo Biafran and that I will remain. I thank you for making me an Igbo Biafran and when I will remain Igbo Biafran, even in the next world, I will still be an Igbo Biafran if there is a next world to come. I thank everybody who have connected and joined and today, look at the topic, you see what I'm saying there, I'm just saying that the time for duty have called. Biafra is calling for duty. Biafra is calling you and I to take up our responsibility and defend our land. The time is now, not tomorrow. That time that we've been talking about, that time that some of you, when you called, during when Mazin Nankar was with us, the time Mazin Nankar was with us, you see people calling on his question and answer. They will call asking Mazin Nankar, when are we going to march? When are we going to march? When are we going to march? Let's do this, let's do that. That time has come. The time has finally come. A time for Biafrans to march. And most of you who are following our brother Simon Epa, you can see what he's doing on his platform. You can see everything he's doing and he's saying. The time is drawing very, very close. And the time for call for duty is now. The time to, for call of duty is now. Biafra land is calling for duty. Biafra land is calling you and I for us to take action. Biafra land is calling us to take responsibility. This is the time. Whatever area you know you are gifted in, this is time for you to stand up and stand firm. Whatever area you know that you are gifted in, in the struggle of Biafra, this is time to stand firm. Increase your effort. Increase your effort. The time for duty have called. The time for duty have called. More especially, our men on the ground. Our men on the ground, the ESN, who are fighting gallantly to defend our land. Our ESN, the volunteer force that have committed their own life. All the Biafran agitators, all the Biafran people who are defending Biafran and Biafran land, not only the ES ESN, you remember other groups that are marching together, other groups are now joining hand together to defend Biafran land. The time for call of duty have come. If you are a Biafran and you have something to offer, this is the time for you to present yourself. It is time for you to present yourself. That time that we've been talking about, we've been crying about, we've been shouting about have come. A time, remember in the past, when Mazin Nan Nekan will be making a broadcast, when he will do his answer, question and answer, people will come on the program and they'll be asking Mazin Nan Nekan, when are we going to move? Shall we move? Shall we do this? Shall we do that? That time has come. That time has come. And I tell you, it is not compulsory that every one of us will be in the war front. It is a division of labor. If you know where area you are being gifted in, participate in that area. This is the time for call for duty. Biafra land is calling you and I for duty. Biafra land is calling every single one of us to unite. Now is the time to defend our land. It is no longer time for blackmail. It is no longer time for propaganda. Don't disturb it. Don't trouble yourself with people who are talking senselessly. Don't bother yourself with people who are talking irrelevant things. Don't bother yourself with people who are blackmailing. Let them keep on doing their own part as they are blackmailers they are. The Judas, don't bother about them. We are focused and we are moving forward. The time for call of duty have come. Every Biafran, wherever you are in Biafra land, the time has come when you have to answer the call of duty. The time has come when we answer the call of duty. Our ESN, the men on the ground, the volunteer force, people who have given their own life to defend you and I, people who have given their own life to defend our land, this is the time for us to support them. This is the time to support them. Support them in any way you know you can support them. If it is by prayers, support them. If it is by finance, support them. Any way you can support them, support them. And remember, we are not paying the ESN. We are only motivating them. Every donation you know you can make to ESN, this is the time for you to make it. Every contribution you need to do, this is the time to do it. Financial contribution. Biafra cannot come. You cannot go and fight the danger with, with an empty hand. You all know. You see what is happening in Biafra land. Every single one of us that is on media today, everyone is watching me. You must have seen a video of what is happening in Biafra land. Every single person that is watching me today, you must have seen a video of what is happening in Biafra land. How are we going to stop it? How are we going to stop it? How are we going to match them power to power, force to force? How are we going to do that? We cannot do that empty-handed. We cannot do that on the air. We will do that on the ground. And we are going to do that by providing the normal equipment. The normal equipment to face these enemies. We have to provide the equipment to face these enemies. And it is your responsibility. It is my responsibility to provide the equipment for the men who have volunteered their own life. 
who have put their own life on the ground you are not paying them anymore let me tell you there is no amount of money you can pay a man for his life life is so dear life is so precious everybody value their life but for somebody to put his or her own life on the line he's only a volunteer supporting you not because you are paying not because they're doing anything all we have to do is to motivate them we have to motivate them the best way you can if you know any contribution you will make to motivate our men this is the time biafra land is calling for duty biafra land is calling for duty biafra land is calling for duty it is no longer what you know saying next year next month or next generation it is time now 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 if you know any contribution you're going to make to make sure to make sure that biafra land is being defended it is now go to the social media every one of us that is watching the video you must have seen what is happening in biafra land you must have seen some gruesome video coming out from biafra land you must have seen some gruesome video coming out from biafra land from all angles you saw the way they are taking the ammunition taking a tank to biafra land every one of you has seen it every one of you has seen it see what is happening in biafra land and when you are seeing those things that is transparent in biafra land i tell you you know what to do you know the time has come not only seeing them carrying their armored cars and all amount of ammunition into Biafra land, you are seeing what is happening. You see the way they are taking the life of Biafra people. You see the way they are destroying homes. Even as you are watching this video, the action is still going on. As you are watching this video, they are still taking the life of our people. As you are watching this video, they are still kidnapping our young men. They are shooting our young men. We will stop them. We will stop them. Let me tell you, this is the time for you to motivate our ESN. The time is now, not tomorrow. It is now. The funniest thing and the thing you have to know is that these people are coming against our people. They are not even coming against the ESN. Our ESN that we know, they are in the bushes and they are facing them head on. Our ESN, the security and feed amazing in any kind of form, they are still in the bush, chasing away this full and the way, chasing away the, the terrorists in the bush, chasing away the terrorists in uniform of the, the military. They can't even confront that ESN, but they are going about killing innocent Biafrans, taking the life of innocent Biafrans. That is why we have to stand up. Remember what Mazin Nagel told us? Mazin Nagel said that we have to protect our people, not to kill them. And you know, today you see people who are coming to kill our Biafran brothers, who are coming to kill our people. What do you do? What you are going to do is to defend our people. Mazin Nagel said it in his last course that our duty is to defend our people and not to kill them. Our duty is to defend Biafran land and not to keep Biafrans. And when you see people who are coming in to take the life of Biafran, what do you do? It is a call for duty. It is a call for duty. Mazin Nani cannot have made that call for duty. I thank Chuko Kukabe who gave him that opportunity to make that call for duty. That we have to defend Biafran land. We have to make sure that no Biafran lose their life anymore. It cannot continue to happen. And we cannot fold our hand and we cannot do it empty-handed we have to provide the same equipment they are using we have to provide the equipment for biafra it is you and i that we do it you and i you that is watching me we are the one that's going to do it no biafra is not getting any sponsorship from any government it is you and i that is sponsoring the struggle it is you and i that is sponsoring biafra to make sure that we defend our land the sponsorship is going to come from here you and i no government anywhere nobody anywhere sponsored it is you and i and this is the time the Biafran land is calling for duty. If you know any area that you are participating, go and participate in it. Your widow's mind is needed. Your widow's mind is needed. Any angle you can participate, go and participate in it right now. If you are speaking on media, speak more. Speak more. Let the world continue to hear our voice. If you are one of those who is a prayer warrior praying, increase your prayers, add fasting to your prayer. Add fasting to your prayer. If one of the men who are on the ground, this is the time for you to stand gallant. Stand gallant. If you are one of the sponsors, come out now. Come out now. Stop hiding yourself. You, you had the call that our brother Samuel Epa made. Our brother Samuel Epa, who is the spokesperson of Biafra, the spokesman of Biafra today, undoubtedly the spokesman, he has said it, that those of you who are claiming to be rich, those of you, we know very well, we know very well that Biafra have wealthy men. We have billionaires in Biafra land. We have secret billionaires. We have open billionaires. We have so many billionaires in Biafra land. A call has been made for people to come out and sponsor the defense of our land. If you know you are capable, 50 men are needed. 50 men. If you are capable and you fall into that category of 50 men, your name will be written in gold. Chukwu Okukabiam will write your name in gold. And Biafra land will never forget you. It is time for you to come out. Stop hiding. Stop hiding. This is not time to begin to hide or say maybe you don't know where to contribute or when you contribute, you abuse your money. I thank Chukwu Kukabiyama that Chukwu Kukabiyama have separated the chaff from the weed. 
Today, everything you are committing, you know where it's been channeled to. Everything you are committing to this struggle today, you have to be proud and happy that you know where it's been channeled to. The Umuada are in charge. Umuada are in charge of everything. If you are one of those who know you are capable, remember the call that Abraham Samuel have made that 50 men are needed, those who can be able to give $10,000 every month. $10,000 to sponsor this very struggle and make sure that we start the defense now, not tomorrow. The defense of Biafra land has to start now. If you fall into that category and you come across the video, contact the Umada. Contact the Umada. Any member of Umada you can contact, contact and, or contact our brother Samuel Epa. Reach out to brother Samuel Epa or reach out to any member of Umada. Reach out to Madam Azoka. Reach out to them. They will tell you what to do. The time has come. A call for duty has been made. Biafra land is crying, is calling you. Biafra land is shouting and calling on you and I. This is time for us to stand up. It is no longer time to... Don't bother yourself listening to those who are distractors. You don't have to spend your time listening to them and their posts. Don't even comment on their posts. Don't comment on their video. Don't challenge them. Don't oppose them. You have to focus. In the state that we are now, we have to be focused. After seeing what is happening in Biafra land, after seeing the way they are invading Biafra land, after they see the way the military is raising a red flag in Biafra land, raising a red flag against Biafra people, what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? The war has been declared. It has been declared. So many of you that have been calling on program every day, you go to someone else, you call, you call to on program of someone else program, you say, what are we doing? What are we doing? Why are we wasting time? Why are we not going to do this? A time for call of duty have come. That time you have been talking about, it has come. That time have come. What are you doing? You have to come out. You have to come out. If you are one of the men who is capable to defend Biafra land, this is the time for you to come out. It's either you are on the front of the wall, you are fighting on the ground, or it is you're by your sponsorship. Anywhere you can sponsor. If it is by prayer, it's by your physical, physical money, by your time. Anything you know you can offer for Biafra, this is the time. And don't tell me you don't have a role to play. Even as you are watching me and you are sharing this video, making sure that the video goes viral, you are doing a duty. As you are here watching this video and you are sharing this video, you are doing a duty. And Chukwu Kukabia will not forget you. Your name will also be written in gold. We are calling on those people, those people who are capable. We know that Biafrans have capable people. Biafrans, we have many capable people. We have many strong men and women. We have billionaires, people who we are blessed for today. People who are blessed because of today. Some of them have been hiding for the past days. Some of them have been hiding for years. Some of them have been waiting. I have had several times when people call on some of their program. They say they are waiting for that time before they will come and begin to make their outstanding donation. Even in Mazen, not the kind of question I'm answer. I've had people come and call. They will call the program. They say they are waiting for that time. Some of them say they have something in stock to offer for Biafra restoration. The time has come. The time has come. There is no more time to wait. Mazen Nandekan have done every sensitization we have to do. Mazen Nandekan have done every media we have to do. We are now standing on the foundation of Mazen Nandekan. And our brother Simon Epa is today carrying out the new dimension that Mazen Nandekan talked about. Today, we are in a new dimension. Today, we are in the new dimension. And no man upon a woman can stop it. We are in the new dimension. And in this new dimension, we have to move on. Do not allow anybody to distract you. Do not allow any man, any woman to distract you. It doesn't matter their propaganda. It doesn't matter their lie. It doesn't matter their blackmail. Don't even challenge them. Don't confront them. Don't respond to their mis don't respond to their message. Don't respond to their message. Don't attack them. Don't focus on moving forward. Forward ever and backward never. The new dimension that Mazin and Nikana have told us about have just kicked off. It has just kicked off. The restoration of Biafra. The restoration of Biafra, let me tell you, in 2023, in 2023, as we are saying there is no election, we are conducting our referendum and Biafra is kicking off. Biafra is kicking off. Any place you are now and you know a role that you're going to play for Biafra, this is the time. This is the time. It is either now or never. It is either now or never. It is either now or never. If you are still pretending, wherever you are and you are pretending or you are still sitting on the fence, it's left for you. If you are sitting on the fence, this is not the time to sit on the fence. You have to choose where you belong. It is either you are black or you are white. It is either you are in or you are out. You cannot sit in between and begin to block people who are coming in. You cannot continue to sit in between to block people who are coming in. It is either you are in or you are out. Because now, the new dimension has started. The new dimension has started. It doesn't matter what you think. It doesn't matter what you say. It doesn't matter what you believe. 
let me tell you, Chukwoke Kabiyama, who is the author of the fight today? Chukwoke Kabiyama, who is piloting the movement today? Chukwoke Kabiyama, who have instigated the autopilot movement? He has started taking over. He has taken, started taking over. Starting from separating the chaff from the wood. Chukwoke Kabiyama have separated the chaff, separated the bad ones from the good ones. Today we know where we stand. Today we know whom we follow you. Today we know those people who are following Mazin and the full step. Today, we know the people who are building on the foundation of Mazin and Nikanu, and it didn't stop there. You have seen the unification of all the groups, the unification of all the Biafran agitators, all the Biafran agitators on the ground, all the Biafran forces, everyone that is fighting for Biafra, defending Biafra land. Today, you are hearing about the unification, and it is not a joke. It is not a joke. Our brother Samuel Deca have mentioned so many of them that have joined the group, and they have linked up. They are linking up because the time for duty has come. It is no longer time to stay far. Anyone you know you can do, whatever group you have, whatever group you belong, anything you know that you are doing to defend Biafra, the time is now. The time is now for us to stand on one page and begin to defend our land. It is time for us to defend our land and no man born of a woman can stop it. No man born of a woman can stop it. That time has come. It is no longer a question of saying Biafra is going to come in 20 years. Or Biafra has come already. The time the call of duty have been called, we have to respond. Every Biafra have to answer this call. The Biafra land is calling. Biafra land is calling you and I. It is time to defend our land. It is time to defend our land. Go to the social media. When you see what is happening, you will share tears. Go to social media. If you are a Biafra and you have the Biafra blood flowing in your vein, after seeing what is happening in Biafra today, you will not be gossiping. If you are a sincere and true Biafran and you see what is happening in the social media today, you will not be gossiping anymore. You will not be gossiping and you will not be blackmailing your brother. You will know that you don't have any time talking about your brother or, talk, or analyzing the video of your brother. If you are a genuine Biafran, you have to know the time that we are in. And that is how you know the people who are the real people who are fighting for Biafran. Since all this invasion, since all this killing, there is only one man who has been speaking up. The Biafra spokesman that have been speaking up since all this killing has always been Abura Simon Ekba. Only Abura Simon Ekba has given the one that any time there is a killing in Biafra, just as Mazin Nanaka used to do, Simon Ekba is doing the same thing. When Mazin Nanaka was with us, whenever there is any attack against Biafra people, Mazin Nanaka will come online. Sometimes he will come online two times in a day. He will broadcast twice a day. Any time there is an attack against Biafra, Mazin Nanaka doesn't keep silent. He is always online on daily basis. Today, who do you see to do the same thing? The only person that is doing the same thing that Mazin Nanakana has been doing is Abra Simon Eber. And today, he is mapping out a step. The new dimension, the new dimension to defend Biafra land and restore Biafra has started. It has started. If you are still sleeping, wake up. Wake up. If you know any contribution you are going to make to make sure that Biafra land is being defended, this is the time to answer the call. It is no longer time for you to sit in the fence. Don't tell me you don't know whom to follow. Don't tell me you don't know what your money is being used for. Don't tell me you don't know what your contribution is being used for. Let me tell you, in the state that we are in now, it is no longer a time to gossip or talk about irrelevant things. It is a time for people to make a point. It is a time for people to make a clear point. And when you are making your point, you make a clear point that everybody will understand. It is no longer business as usual. It is not business as usual. This time has passed. When we talk and talk and talk, time for action has come. And you have to take action. If you want to join the broadcast, Please keep your phone in a horizontal form. Keep your phone in a horizontal form. You keep your phone horizontally and you make sure that your rotation is on. That is the only way you can join the program. If you keep your phone in a horizontal form just this way, then you make sure your rotation is on. That is where you can join the broadcast. Thank you so much. So, a time has come when the call of duty has been made. The call of duty has been made. If you want to join, if you want every area where you know you are blessed, Whatever area you are this is the time for you to come and add your own impact. Anything you can do, anything you know you can do, any way you can support the activities of Biafra, the time has come. Your widow's mind is needed. Your experience is needed. Your effort is needed. Your time is needed. Your prayer is needed. Everything you can offer as a Biafra, as a genuine Biafra, this is the time. This is the time. Sensitization. This is the time. Let me tell you, if you're one of those who is still sleeping and thinking that maybe, maybe somehow that the election is going to hold, it is not going to hold. It will not hold. If you're one of those who is still contemplating 
that somehow, somehow, maybe your Igbo presidency is going to walk through PW. You are wasting your goddamn time. We are not stopping. We are not stopping. I told you, those of you who are watching me on this very channel, you know that our memory verse here, our memory verse here is consistency is the key. That is the memory verse we have in this very channel. Each time you have come here, have it at the back of your mind that consistency is the key. We have to be consistent in our request. The only request we are making is what? Our freedom. Self-determination through referendum. That is the only request and nothing else. We are not asking for any restructuring. We are not asking for anything more. We are not asking for any Igbo presidency. We are not asking for any post. We are not even asking for their restructuring. We are asking for any resources. We are asking for our freedom. Mazin Nandikan also reminded us in the court that Biafra must come. Nobody can stop Biafra coming. And the time is now. The time is now. So many of you that have been saying that we are talking and talking and talking, the time for action have come. The time for Call of Duty have come. Any place you are and you know where you can be able to operate, you know where you can be able to add your own effort, you know where you can be able to put your strength, the time is now. Identify yourself. Identify yourself. Stop sitting in the shadow. Stop hiding. Come out and defend your land. The time for self-defense have come. Self-defense is your right. It doesn't make you a terrorist. For those of you who are, are scared and say they will call self-defense, defending yourself is not being a terrorist. For those of you who are still contemplating, who are still scared, let me tell you, in the northern part of Nigeria, governors are telling their people to go and get arms. Governors in the north, governors in the north, in their national televisions, are issuing, they are issuing license to their people to go and get guns. They are issuing license to their people to go and get guns. What do you think? What do you think is happening? What do you think is happening? You had someone like governor, someone like telling his people to go and get AK-47 and defend themselves. That if anybody arrests them, that he will be there to defend them. You that you call yourself a Biafra, you know that you are the target. And what are you waiting for? When you know that they have collected everything you have, they have taken over everybody that's defending you, they have taken over all your defense. We don't have any senator talking for us. We don't have any lawmaker speaking for us. We don't have any governor speaking for us. We don't have any elite standing for us. We don't have even our hands and people talking for us. We are on our own. What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Whom are you waiting to talk to you? The northern people have their governors to talk to them. They have their governors to give them license to go and get a gun to protect themselves. The middle bed, you see someone like saying that he's going to defend his people and, and protect them if they are being arrested. But you, who is standing for you? Nobody. Nobody is standing for you. The time for you to rise up is now. It is now, not tomorrow. It is now. Prepare yourself. If you are a Biafran in Biafran and mainly every Biafran in Biafran, prepare yourself for what is coming. It is not a child's play. Freedom comes with a price. Biafrans are living in a child. And let me tell you, the coming of Biafra is imminent. No man born of a woman can stop it. So many of you have been asking questions. When are we going to move? When are we going to move? When are we going to move? That time has come. Stop sitting in the fence. We already have volunteers on the ground who have volunteered their own life. People who are willing to give their life for you and I. There are people. You are not paying them. Tell me. Just tell me. How much can you pay a man for his own life? Do you know the value of life? Do you know how, what it takes to, to have a life? Do you know what it takes for a woman to carry a child nine months? After nine months, that child will struggle, struggle and grow to the extent of being able to fight. And these people will come out, leave all their business, leave everything they want to do, leave the struggle of the earth and want to give you freedom. How much can you pay a man for his own life? They put their life on the line for you. And all you have to do now is to defend them or to protect them and encourage them. What we are asking for is an encouragement. Give them the equipment they need. They cannot protect the land empty-handed. They cannot protect the land empty-handed. They need the equipment. You know the people we are facing. We are facing the most wicked government of the world. We are facing the richest government of the world. We are facing the world powers. We are facing those who have connection and everything. What do we have? Nothing. All we have is our land and Chukukabiyama. All we have is our land and Chukukabiyama. And who is our sponsor? We don't have any sponsor anywhere. No foreign sponsor. It is you and I that is sponsoring. It is you and I that is sponsoring. That is why our brother Samuel Nepa is making a call as he's making. If you know that you are a Biafran and you want a freedom, if you know that you are a genuine Biafran, you want a freedom, and you have a sister on the fence, this is time for you to come out. This is time for me to come out. Those Biafran, we know Biafran, we have billionaires all over the world. We have billionaires, silent ones all over the world. This is not the time to go and spread money around. 
This is not the time. If you want your name to be written in gold, for Chukwokikabe to bless you more and your name, the land of Biafra will write your name in gold. This is time to come out. Master Simon Ebka has made that call. Those who are going to offer $10,000 per month to sponsor this very fight and make sure that we restore Biafra. Restoration of Biafra is not a child's play. You know people where we are up against. You know how many billions the Zoological Republic marked out only for them to disrupt our media. Only for them to disrupt us in media. Only for them to oppress us in media. Do you know how many billions they marked out? But through the wisdom given to Mazin Nandekano, Mazin Nandekano educated so many of us, taught us what to say and what to do. And today, with all the money they spent, with all their money, we are still holding the social media. With all the money, the whole world is hearing our voice. With all the money, the information is passing. Even when they have spent money, after much when they spend money to go and reverse the, the information we have given to the US and begin to buy weapon for them, today you can see that same thing being reversed back. Everything that we have done in the past, have, you see everything turning back against them. Today, Canada is wanting their people to travel to Nigeria. They are wanting their people from traveling from Nigeria. They are warning their people, Canada is warning their people against Nigeria. You see United States themselves telling their, their government to make sure they send Nigeria back to among the terrorist countries of the world. They should place Nigeria name back among the countries that are terrorizing Christians. The country where people are being terrorized, they should put their name back. How we are able to achieve that? We were able to achieve that because we stood our ground. We continue to speak the way I'm speaking today. There are so many other people in their platform speaking. Our brother Simon Eka have been speaking and tweeting. This is the time for us to do more. If you are not following Simon Eka on Twitter, please go and follow him on Twitter. Also, if you are in Biafra land, you don't have access to Twitter because of uh, 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 other issues. Let me tell you, connect to 97.5 FM, Voice of Biafra. Connect to the Voice of Biafra, 97.5 FM. Make sure you get that is where you get information raw on what to do, how to secure yourself, the step to take so that we can be secure. We cannot afford to lose anybody. We cannot afford to lose any soul anymore. Mazen Nanekan have given that warning in the court. Mazen Nanekan say, Our duty is to protect Biafra and not to keep Biafra. So, anybody, any man, any government, any military that have come out to take the life of Biafra, we will not take it like them. Manzin Nankan gave that charge. Some of us don't know the implication of what he said in the court. You see people using it to blackmail us. You see people misinterpreting it. But every information he gave us in the court has a meaning. And those of us who are following closely, just like our brother Simon Eber tells you that he goes to the heart of Manzin Nankan to take information. And when you see from everything that Simon Eber is doing, you will see that he's actually taking information from the heart of Manzin Nankan. He is taking information direct from the heart of Manzin Nankan. That is what I have been following him, not today. And everything he said, I tried to study and see how truthful he said. They are all truth and raw. They are all truth and raw. The time has come for us to defend Biafra land. The time has come. For, don't wait until you hear fundraising. Don't wait until you hear fundraising. If you are one of those that are choosing, you can contact Madame Azoka. You can contact any member of the Umwanda. You can contact our brother Simon Epa through any of his media. You can contact him and make sure that you register your name, write your name in gold. The time to defend Biafra land is now. It is no longer time for blackmail. Share this video. Continue to share. If you have not shared the video, share the video. This is another duty you have to do. It is your own duty and responsibility to share. As you are sharing, you are doing something. Every single one of us has nothing to offer. Don't say because you are not rich, you don't have money to give. You will not do this because you are not rich. You don't do Let me tell you, every single one of us have something to do. Every single one of us has something to do. Every single one of us have a responsibility. Continue to put your responsibility where it is being required. Don't ignore people ignore that when you see some useless idiots that are making some unnecessary comments, those who are commenting useless comments, and those who are talking rubbish online, base, base their argument on blackmailing their brother, see analyzing the video of their brother, which the kind of destruction that happened in Biafra land, they are not bothered. They don't care. They are still busy demonizing their own brother. Don't bother them. Don't even respond to their chat. Don't respond to their comment. Don't respond. Do not respond. Don't even confront them in the air. Whenever they are broadcasting, don't confront them. Don't go and say you want to challenge them. Ignore them and move on. Ignore them. A call for duty for Biafra. A call for duty for Biafra have come. The time for call of duty have come. It is no longer time for blackmail. Let the people who are dancing naked in the market continue to dance naked. Let them continue to dance naked. Ignore them. 
the funny thing that you cannot shame the shameless. You can't shame the shameless. So why must you respond to them? You can't shame the shameless. When you see the shameless people, you see the shameless. How can you say shame a shameless person? Somebody you know that can dance naked in the market. Somebody you know that is shameless. How can you shame the shameless? You can't. So there's no point responding to them. There's no point going to watch their videos. There's no point sharing their video or even attacking them or responding to their chat or whatever. Don't respond. Just move on. Just move on and move ahead. The time has come. That very time that we have been calling on. You have seen so many times why Mazin Nanakan was with us and broadcasting. Every time you see Mazin Nanakan be broadcasting and broadcasting and broadcasting, and you see people coming to make a call on his broadcast and ask Mazin Nanakan, when are we going to move? When are we going to move? Are yet to wake up from your slumber or your sleep and get the point that we are exiting Nigeria. Exiting Nigeria is not going to come from the platter of Godi Plate. You have to sacrifice for it. And we are ready to sacrifice everything, including you. If you come and stand in the way of freedom. So you need to know how serious we are. We are damn serious. Some of you are not getting it. You think we are here to, to make to build political movement? We are here for freedom. Freedom come with price. Okay? The only thing you can do is to comment on social media. Don't ever stand on the way of Biafra freedom. We crush you. Their interest is suppressed. Biafra is the key. Once they can hold Biafra down, they can hold all of Africa down. <laughs> hey, freedom fighting, sorry. Because all these people are criminals. They are saying there is no way this man cannot be a criminal like themselves. They don't have a different breed altogether. They don't know that. I am a Nam Kano. I don't do all this nonsense you do. My father was a very rich man, not ostentatious. I had the finest education that his money could afford. We are not poor. Have never been. That is why a poor man cannot be a freedom fighter. If you're not full of yourself, you cannot be a freedom fighter. <laughs> you go everywhere. We must continue.